Hello, my beautiful Aquariuses. My name is Jennifer from jenniferwalkerson.com, here to bring you your weekly love forecast for June 9th to the 15th. Guys, don't forget to check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign for more information. And of course, if you like a personal reading, you can go to my website, jenniferwalkerson.com, or check out the description box below. So what are we gonna talk about today? We're gonna talk about the day to day, then the overall, and then advice. So stick with me till the end. Let's jump right in. All right, so what's going on, my Aquarius's romantic love life for June 9th to the 15th? What's going on, my Aquarius's romantic love life for June 9th, 2 to 15th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. All right, let's look at your love interest. What's going on, my Aquarius's love interest, romantic love life for June 9th to the 15th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, well, let's see what's going on with your oracle here. Go, my Aquarius's romantic love life for June 9th to the 15th. Aquarius's romantic love life for June 9th to the 15th. Okay, feels good. Let's throw these cards down and let's jump right in. Oh, I see the Ace of Cups there. Okay. So, on the ninth, money is going to be affecting your romantic love life. It's gonna leave you in the mode of, all right, should I give my cup of love? Should I not give my cup of love? For some of you, you may be asking for some advice. For others of you, you're gonna be patient here when it comes to your emotions. And you could be dealing with a Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. So your love interest on this day of the ninth is feeling very charitable, very giving, but on the same token, they may be in a mode of, all right, am I getting a balanced situation? Is it an equal give and take for me? Six of Pentacles energy. On the 10th, Spirit wants you to watch out for any signs or symbols here. So pay attention to your dreams on this day or anything that may resonate with you, pay attention to that. You are definitely having some anxiety on this day with this Knight of Swords energy on the 10th. So it's like you're feeling trapped in your thoughts here and you're having some sleepless nights and you're just really worried. You're just like, oh my God. So it's like really stuck in your, for me, it's like a very stuck kind of feeling to that card. And it's like you're chained to the wall there. Wow. But Spirit's gonna send you a message, so watch out for that, okay? So on the 10th, your love interest, the person you're dealing with, is feeling stuck and stagnant, or they're trying to see things from a new way and a new perspective with the hangman energy. And on the 11th, prosperity is affecting your romantic love life. It is leaving you in the mode of doing a lot of thinking and contemplating and planning here. So it's a lot about planning, thinking, contemplating on this day. Your love interest on the 11th is doing a lot of, all right, is this the best bet for me on a long-term basis or not? Queen of Pentacles energy. It's a very nurturing kind of energy going on with that Queen of Pentacles energy. Let's see on the 12th here, something to do with a renewal is happening here. So some kind of healing is happening here. And look at that Ace of Cups energy. Ace of Cups, true love, opportunity of love coming up here on the 12th. So let me know in the comments below. Your love is the person you're dealing with has a Seven of Swords energy. So they're feeling like something isn't being honest here or somebody's lying to them or they're maybe they're not being honest with themselves here with the Seven of Swords energy. On the 13th, Spirit wants you to watch out for your health. So take care of yourself on the day. Watch what you eat. You know, um, keep yourself balanced on this day emotionally, okay? So just, just be cognizant of that because it does look like you're in the mode of feeling like there's some confusion going on here on the 13th, okay? So you're feeling confused. You're not seeing everything clearly and, um, and or you feel like there's some hidden perils happening on this day. Your love and just the person you're dealing with is feeling like luck is on their side, things are moving in their favor with the Wheel of Fortune card. On the 14th, some kind of transformations are happening in your romantic love life in here, and it does seem like you're feeling confident here. We have the Strength card energy. This is the card of confidence and strength and courage, you know, so you're in charge here. Your love and the person you're dealing with on the 14th is fulfilling their wishes with the Nine of Cups energy. And on the 15th, something to do with karma could be affecting your romantic love life because you do have the Five of Wands energy. So be careful on this day. Some arguments, some disputes, some challenges, okay? 
Your love is the person you're dealing with is feeling like they're going to get hurt here. They're feeling like there's some kind of test of faith here. They got their wall up here with that nine of wands energy. All right, so bear with me for a second here while I clear this stuff out of the way. And we work on your overall. Before that, we're going to work on your numerology here. Okay, so... So for this week, I see you have a nine card energy. So it's about fulfilling your wishes or obtaining something here. Four is about stability and stableness or structuring your situation the way you want it to because of some kind of opportunity that's causing some challenges around your situation. Okay, so let's work on your overall. All right, what's going on my Aquarius' romantic love life for June 9th to the 15th? Let's go to my Aquarius' romantic love life for June 9th to the 15th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What's going on my Aquarius' romantic love life for June 9th to the 15th? The Aquarius' romantic love life for June 9th to the 15th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. What's going on my Aquarius' romantic love life for June 9th to the 15th? Aquarius' romantic love life for June 9th to the 15th. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to. Okay, feels good. So we have the Queen of Cups energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. You are in the mode of, all right, do I want to give my cup of love? Do I not want to give my cup of love? You could be getting advice from somebody from this day because remember the queens are about advice. They're patient energy and they're about advice. Okay, let's find out why. Because of love and abundance here with the love card energy. And there is something to do with a person that's in the outcome here. So in the in the current outcome, there's a person here and there's something to do with love about this person. It's like, all right, a debate going on. Should I get my cup of love? Should I not get my cup of love? Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy. Okay, all right, guys. So let's see what the blockage is. Something that needs to end or something needs to stop or change here with the death card energy because of courage and strength pertaining to the past energy. So reminiscing about the past or something to do with a reconciliation about the past. So it seems like the block, it seems to be this ending or something that had stopped about the past, uh, which seems to be blocking this current situation here. Six is about healing and recovery and love. And there is something that changed, something that needs to end to start something new, right? This, that's the death card energy, something that's ending or something that's stopping or something that needs to stop. And there needs to be courage and strength here because of this reminiscing about the past or thinking about the past here, Six of Cups energy. Okay, so what's going on with the foundation here? So you're feeling isolated here, Nine of Pentacles energy, or you're focused on your pentacles there with the Nine of Pentacles energy because there's arguments, disputes, or challenges because you feel like someone's not being completely honest with the, the Fox card energy. So Nine of Pentacles, let's go over what Nine of Pentacles is. It's when someone is needs to be single and available or someone single and available or someone who's isolating themselves to focus on themselves, right? Or self-love here. And this is causing challenges here, arguments and disputes because there's a person that feels like, you know, there's something deceptive about this. So there's a person that's like, I feel like there's something deceptive about you isolating yourself or separating yourself here. Nine is about something to do with wishes being fulfilled five is about challenges or change you have two five card energies what have been in the past you were waiting for the right opportunity you're waiting for success here because of a particular person that caused some big upheavals or change or you were dealing with some big surprises some big changes here with the tower card energy so what's going on at the head of the matter the world card energy there is a want to complete or accomplish the situation. The world card is when there is a, there needs to be something completed here. Something that needs to be accomplished here, right? That's the world card energy. Something to do with travel and foreign. Something that's coming back around, right, at the head of the matter. And you getting mental clarity about this in healing and recovery. Because you come back to the blockage, it's because of something that ended, something to do with reminiscing about the past or something to do with someone from the past and having strength and courage there with the bear card energy. So what's happening in the near future? Okay, so you're you're waiting around to see how things are gonna play out. It looks like there is one person in this card that really wants to move forward. There's another person in the card's like, no, 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 let's hold up on this. Because of something to do with the love here, with the heart card energy and uh, an energy of, 
I don't know if I should stand up and fight or walk away from this. So there's a bit of a defeated energy because there is love here in the current situation, but there is a waiting around to see how things are going to play out. And there's a lot of thinking and contemplating about challenges and changes pertaining to love and healing and recovery. So what is your influence here? Five of Wands, there's that cards coming out again. Some challenges, some arguments, some disputes are influencing this because of taking a leap of faith to something new or some kind of risk here because of loyalty or friendliness. So loyalty could be an issue here, could be because of friendliness is an issue here, which is causing arguments and disputes or because a friend or friends are influencing this, this uh, arguments and disputes and taking this risk. Nine is about wishes being fulfilled and five is some kind of challenge or change around this. So we have, we have some, some challenges there with the influence when it comes to your romantic love life. But obviously we have the near future. There is love here. So what's going to happen here? King of Pentacles. Good card. So there's going to be wise decisions when it comes to long-term commitments. King of Pentacles energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Three of Cups. Did I say there's something to do with friends? Three of Cups. Now celebration joy or friends they're influencing oh wow knight of wands there's passion here knight of wands aries sagittarius leo energy so i feel like there's some arguments and disputes because there's a person that wants to be wise in their decision making when it comes to long-term commitment but there could be more than one choice or option or friends that could be influencing things and making somebody feel like i don't know if i want to commit here i've Maybe I just want to take an action towards passion here with this Knight of Wands energy. So let's get some more clarity on this. Two of Pentacles. There's a choice being made. Someone's trying to weigh something here or balance something pertaining to their happiness. And they're not being honest about it with the Seven of Swords energy. Let's see what the Lenormand says. Something to do with a child or children or fresh start new opportunity that's being cut away or cut out or something that's to do with an abrupt decision which is causing some kind of confusion so that may also explain that full card energy it's taking a leap of faith taking a risk there doing this very abruptly it's causing a lot of confusion here because of friends that could be influencing things or a choice that needs to be made and someone's not being honest about that choice oh my goodness okay let me know in the comments below guys seems to be a lot of these kind of reads this week all right Let's get you guys some advice. Can I have some advice for my Aries? Excuse me, my Aquariuses for June 9th to the 15th. Can I have some advice for my Aquariuses for June 9th to the 15th? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So there needs to be some forgiving and learning here, Aquarius. Because it is safe for you to love. It has to be safe for you to love in order to open your heart to give and receive. And yes, this is your soulmate connection. So I feel like in your situation, I feel like other people are influencing you somehow. And this is causing this confusion. And it's like almost like you feel like you have, you're going to make an abrupt decision. And you feel like there's some kind of risk. There's a person that feels like there's some risk, which is causing this arguments and disputes because it's something to do with a friend. So they're saying you have to release and heal from the past. Because obviously, if you look at the blockage, it is a lot of doing, reminiscing about the past, about what happened and what, how it ended. And it's saying that it's safe for you to love. And yes, this is your soulmate. All right, my darlings. I love you guys so much. If you like this, please like and subscribe. And I will be seeing you guys soon. I will be releasing that spread where you separate the singles and the couples with bi-weekly. So pay attention. That's going to be the next one that's going to be out. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. I love you guys so much. And I'll be seeing you soon.